Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make this lovely, unusual crystal pendant. I'll show you how to make it step by step, so let's begin. Your materials are up on the screen. Five lengths of 15 cm, 1 mm copper wire and some 0.3 mm wrapping wire, also copper. A nice size crystal and copper beads and a green agate bead. We begin by taking the bundle of five wires and one third of the distance in from the end we're going to do a simple wrap with the 0.3 millimeter copper wire. Wrap it round the entire bunch of wires and then finish off on a single wire so that there are no loose ends. Now you're going to take your flat nose pliers and flatten that join a little bit. You don't have to flatten the wrap, but flatten where the wires come out of it. And then flare them out into a fan shape. Flare those wires out into a pretty fan and then holding the, the fan in your fingers Bring the points back in so that it's making a bit of a, a bend. Bringing the ends in closer to each other again. Now you're going to do the other wrap, which is also a third of the way in from the end of the wires and next to the fan. So you're enclosing the fan with two wraps. Now you're going to bend out those fanned out wires to look pretty. There's the widest point in the middle and then it closes in. So just adjust all your distances so that it looks neat and pretty and trim off those little ends. Place the crystal now across the wires below the wrap and hold it in place with your thumb and then just take those tails and wrap them around your crystal. Make sure it's balanced so they're not all on one side. Spread them out, wrap them around nicely and on both sides and then squeeze it in if you need to, if it hasn't quite um, closed up against the stone. And then you're going to finish off those wires with a nice little curl against the crystal. Make sure that they are nice, the wires are nice and snugly wrapped against the stone and that it's not going to slide out. Some pretty little curls now to finish off those wire ends. Now this is starting to look very interesting, isn't it? It's something quite unusual and a different way of doing a setting. Just keep your work tidy as you go along. Make sure that they're all nice and tight and neat. And now we're going to do the fun bit and bend that whole fan over on itself. So taking the widest section at the top and bending the wires right over and down towards the crystal again. Now that was an unexpected move, wasn't it? And if you're making many of these, there's no reason why you shouldn't put other beads in place of one crystal and make a really interesting pendant. Now we're going to put a spacer in where the bale bends over I've used a knitting needle and then squeeze the wires in towards each other so it's making one bale. Keep tidying the wires as you go along and make sure it all looks nice and that your design is balanced. The nice thing is also that you can set any size crystal with this setting. A tiny one, a big one, 
you just have to adjust the length of your wires and to accommodate for the size. So now you're going to take that tail that you bent down and wrap all of those tails around the crystal as well. This is up to you to make it look pretty, to make sure that the wires are balanced and that each one complements the whole design. This isn't a paint by numbers, it is up to your own artistic ability and how you see this final outcome of the pendant. Once you have wrapped the wires around the crystal, adjust them and curl the ends to make them pretty. Then you're going to take one of the tails and bring it out to the front of the bale with the copper beads on it and the green agate stone. Curl them together, make a little pretty detail on the side and tidy up any other little tails that there are. Thank you so much for watching to the end of my video. Please subscribe if you haven't already to see more of our really unusual designs. Please take great care of yourselves. You are very special to me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.